The scripture reading for today is from Matthew chapter 28. In the evening of the Sabbath, when the first day of the week began to dawn, there came Mary of Magdala and the other Mary to see the tomb. And behold, a great earthquake took place, for the angel of the Lord came down from heaven and went up and rolled away the stone from the door and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his garments were white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards who were watching trembled and became as if they were dead. But the angel answered, saying to the women, You need not be afraid, for I know that you are seeking Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen, just as he has said, Come. See the place where our Lord was laid. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he will go before you to Galilee. There you will see him. Lo, I have told you. And they went away hurriedly from the tomb with fear and with great joy, running to tell his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them and said to them, Peace be to you. And they came up and laid hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid, but go and tell my brethren to go to Galilee, and there they shall see me. While they were going, some of the guards came into the city and told the high priests everything that had happened. So they gathered with the elders and took counsel, and they gave money, not a small sum, to the guards, telling them, Say that his disciples came by night and stole him while we were sleeping. And if this should be heard by the governor, we will appeal to him and declare that you are blameless. So they took the money and did as they were instructed. And this word has gone out among the Jews even to this day. The eleven disciples then went to Galilee to a mountain where Jesus had promised to meet them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some of them were doubtful. And Jesus came up and spoke with them. And he said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Just as my Father has sent me, I am also sending you. Go, therefore, and convert all nations, and baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit and teach them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, to the end of the world. Amen. And so ends the reading the scripture for today, Easter Sunday. And now Dr. Lau will give us our lesson for this morning. Okay, you guys may have noticed we have this camera up here. And before I start, it's just to, to inform you we are on the web somehow, YouTube is it? And if you guys get on our website and stuff, and this has been going on for some time, but uh, what we're doing is we kind of tape segments um, of our services and then they're on the YouTube so that at any time you can go on your computer. And I think if you go on our website, it's got a link to it. And you're given 10 minutes for free on YouTube, so we bust it up into two little segments and you can get first half and second half. So in my house, three halves. <laughs> What happened to control? <laughs> and sometimes, and you know what happens, and, and I noticed this morning we have lots of time, so we'll, at any rate, um, okay, now that you've got all that, but it's, it's there, and I think we're kyrathesia.org, right? And, I, and I, I, I wish they had nothing to do with this. I, Reverend McCauley and our David here, just, uh, They've done, they put this all together and they do this thing. So I'm just, I'm so pleased. I can't tell you how pleased I am to have them. And they, they just never cease to amaze me in the things that they do. And so, because uh, I wouldn't do it. You know that, right? But it's, <laughs> so we have lots of help when we need these things. Everything is provided for. Okay, well, anyway, uh, Easter here. All right, so... Um, I, 
You know, I, I, I've got many things running through my brain, and I, I, ho I hope that I, I hit them. Um, I think the first thing that I want to discuss is you'll notice that a lot of the uh, songs this morning are pretty traditional. Um, and we're looking at uh, Christianity as a growing, evolving um, group, institution. Uh, much of the stuff that was sung this morning has to do with, you know, I, I, I would like to think of it as an era that's gone by. There's a great deal of history, there's a great deal of tradition, there's certainly a great deal of reverence, um, and, and still in this country, the vast <clears throat> majority of Christianity um, you know, clings to what, what I want to call uh, traditional beliefs and, and what they call faith, and, and there hasn't been that concept of moving on. Um, mankind is evolving, consciousness is evolving, our, our consciousness of God evolves all the time. And if we're stuck in the past, we're going to have a difficult time uh, because there's many unanswered questions. I found increasingly in today's day and age that uh, more and more people are beginning to question and they, they just question some of these, these dogmas that are out there. Um, and I don't know, the last time I looked, there were over a thousand denominations here in the United States and I got to thinking about, you know, we, we talk about the 12 tribes. Well, we've got a thousand tribes or more and they just keep going on and, and they fight over the silliest little things. Um, so I, I thought what I would <clears throat> like to do today is just deal with a couple traditional concepts and ideas um, that maybe we can all relate to. And I, I think what happens most of all is Christianity has a favorite little saying that goes on there is let that mind be within you that was in Christ Jesus, which for a long time was, a, was to me, um, you know, a, a wonderful concept and an idea to try and emulate. Um, the only thing is, is I'm not Christ Jesus. You know, and neither are you. And, you know, I need the mind to be in me that was placed in me. And, and you all need the mind that's placed in you. The essence of what he brought, the essence of his teaching, is to become the fullest of who and what you are. We all have an aspect of divinity within us. I mean, we may just as well say, let that mind be in you that was in Buddha, or Moses, or whoever else came and helped this particular planet and mankind to raise itself above where it was at and go on to the next step. And each of us, as, as we look at Easter here, must understand that each of us has a role to play. Uh, we're all here, we're all from different backgrounds, we all have, uh, um, you know, different things to say, and, and in no way should we ever be limited in our thought process and our involvement. Uh, so, all of the things that we're exposed to and all of the things that we learn are part of our growth. And part of that growth has to do with allowing whoever this is to stand up and be accounted for. And that, has, that is a process of meditation, and it makes no difference uh, what denomination we are, what group we are. It matters not what religion we are. The, me the process of meditation reveals truth. So, and I, I, you know, before I get further here, I, I just, you know, I want to thank you for your poem, Charles. It was really kind of interesting because as I sat there and, and Charles did this, the whole vibration changed. It just, you know, at least I felt it did. And so I, I just, I want to extend that to you. Okay, uh, now if I ever remember where I was. But at any rate, going, going back to this concept is, is, to me, where we're at at the moment is, is we pay homage, we pay respect to the past, and I can't help but, um, you know, I, I think of Dr. Bissell and the things that happened in his life and, and what he did to, um, to evolve and to grow and to become who and what he was because there's no question as we look at his past he was headed in one direction and something happened some event took place I don't, I don't know exactly what but you know he moved off into another direction and changed his life